Allergy season is the worst. Your immune system takes a hit. You deal with uncomfortable symptoms like GIs, a stuffy nose, and excess mucus. Not only that, but you're also completely exhausted. Why do seasonal allergies make it seemingly impossible to get a good night's sleep? How can you overcome the fatigue and brain fog? Should you be on allergy medications or are there better ways to prevent allergy fatigue? Let's explore why you're experiencing allergy symptoms, why you feel tired, and how you can fight allergy fatigue. So what causes seasonal allergies in the first place? There are all types of allergy triggers that might cause that runny nose, nasal congestion, or brain fog. Common environmental causes of allergic reactions include pollen, mold, grass, and ragweed. Plus, there are triggers that you might be dealing with on a daily basis year-round, like dust, dust mites, animal dander, and animal fur. Remember, animal dander and other allergens can float around unseen to the human eye. But why do these things cause allergy symptoms? You're experiencing allergy symptoms because your immune system believes it's been invaded, even though those invaders like pollen and grass truly aren't dangerous. So your immune system comes to your defense by producing antibodies. These antibodies attack the invaders and end up releasing a chemical called histamine. And this is what ultimately causes those pesky allergy symptoms. That's why certain antihistamines can help alleviate or even prevent allergy symptoms. More on this in a bit. So why do allergies make you so sleepy? No, you're not going crazy. Allergy fatigue is very real. You know how when you have the common cold or flu, you get super drowsy? It's a similar situation with seasonal allergies. Your body is having to work harder and use extra resources to fight off this invader, and that can leave you feeling more depleted. There might be other things contributing though too. For instance, if you're experiencing nasal congestion, that can disrupt sleep. It's already hard to breathe as is, and then when you lay down and your throat and neck muscles relax, it can restrict the airways further. If you're already dealing with a sleep disorder like sleep apnea, allergies can make them worse. Sleep apnea is when your breathing repeatedly starts and stops while you're asleep. Plus, if your airways are inflamed, your nasal passages might be narrower than normal. And you guessed it, this can make it even more challenging to get a good night's sleep. That's why allergies can make you tired. So what can you do about allergy-related fatigue? Well, you've determined that you feel tired due to your allergies, but what can you do about it? First, we're going to advise you to go to the source. Instead of treating your allergy symptoms, addressing the cause if possible. Do you know what exactly are your triggers? If you don't, then you might need to visit the doctor for an allergy test. For example, e-national testing offers panels for allergies and sensitivities. We also offer our comprehensive food sensitivity panel, celiac panel, and environmental allergen profile. These are simple blood draws that can help you determine what's got you feeling down. If an allergy test doesn't provide any real answers, then you'll want to explore what other issues might be preventing you from getting quality sleep. Once you know what you're allergic to, try to limit your exposure to those allergens. Why hasn't getting a simple laboratory test been as easy as ordering something online? Well, now it is. With three simple steps on enationaltesting.com, you can have your laboratory test ordered, go in for testing the same day, and get your results quickly right to your email. Enational testing is fast, convenient, and confidential. Begin taking charge of your health today with eNational Testing's complete healthcare panels and easy to understand results at over 2,000 locations nationwide. No matter who you are, where you are in the United States, or what your health concerns are, eNational Testing is your comprehensive resource for laboratory testing services. It's time to focus on yourself. Let us do the hard work for you. eNational Testing easy, convenient, and tailored to your health needs. Here are a few simple tips. Limit exposure to outdoor allergens by staying inside when the pollen count is high or when it's windy outside. If you must go outside, wear a mask. Keep the doors and windows to your home closed as much as possible. Use an air purifier. 
This technology can trap even the tiniest particles that can cause common allergy symptoms. If you're experiencing pet allergies, de-shed your animals regularly in a designated space to contain the fur and dander. Immediately after, vacuum and disinfect the area so those airborne allergens don't travel to other parts of your home. You can also try nasal rinsing with a saline solution. This can help to clear your nasal congestion, which can help you get more nighttime sleep and thus reduce allergy fatigue. Keep your home clean and wash sheets frequently. Dust mites, fur, dander, and other allergens can easily collect in sheets, pillowcases, and comforters. Next, shower before bed. If you're carrying any allergens on your clothes or skin, the last thing you want to do is bring them to the place you sleep. This will only make your sleep disruption worse. Essentially, what you want to do is stop an allergic reaction before it starts. If you can do that, then your sleep quality will improve. You'll get a good night's rest and the allergy fatigue will subside. But what if you need additional support? Well, if you've tried all of these things and you still feel tired, there are other avenues you can explore. Certain over-the-counter medications can bring you allergy relief and even help you fall asleep. Just make sure you're taking the right allergy medication at the right time of day. For example, some people take an antihistamine to help with their symptoms. However, antihistamines induce drowsiness, so you don't want to take those until you're ready to go to bed. That said, if you're having trouble sleeping, this type of allergy medication might be what you need. There are also nasal sprays that you can try. Check the labels because there are different types. You might find decongestant sprays, antihistamine sprays, and even steroid sprays. They can help allergy sufferers with symptoms like itchy eyes, a runny nose, and congestion. But again, you want to take the right allergy medication at the right time. Also worth noting is that many of these sprays are not intended for long-term use, so you'll still need to find another solution to your allergy fatigue. Allergy shots, also called immunotherapy, are another option. You typically receive allergy shots at specified time intervals, like every three to five years. These can be very effective for chronic sufferers, but talk to an allergist first. Even if you're aiming to stay away from allergy medications and want to try to soothe your symptoms naturally, it's still wise to speak with a healthcare provider before you make any changes. So, can you eliminate and even prevent allergy fatigue? Well, by now you know why allergies make you tired and what you can do to get a good night's rest. So yes, it's possible to kick allergy-related fatigue to the curb. First, figure out what your allergy triggers are. What's causing your runny nose and other symptoms? What's making your sleep apnea worse? What has your immune system working overtime? Find the source of your allergic reaction. Second, try the tips we recommended to stop triggers and reduce airborne allergens before they can interrupt sleep, like using an air purifier and containing pet dander. If you still need help with your allergies, talk to your healthcare provider about allergy shots, allergy drops, and other allergy medications. If the certain allergy medications you're considering taking contain antihistamines, be sure to take them at nighttime because they can make you tired. We know that allergies can make your life harder, but with both a proactive and reactive approach and guidance from your healthcare provider, you can breathe properly, sleep better, and put your allergies on the back burner. E-National testing has more than 2,000 locations around the United States. You can order your allergy test online in just a few clicks and you don't need to see your doctor first. Should you have follow-up questions, a clinician will be available to speak with. Find a testing center near you and order your test now.